That house is the goal for many an American politician. And the way to get there used to be by hitting the streets, campaigning on the road, literally. But the highway that's taking candidates into office these days is the information highway. pretty clear that voters now have far more power in the political process than they've ever had before. The conversations that form political opinion, whether they be around a dinner table or around a water cooler or over a back fence, are now happening online and as a result they're on steroids because people can have so much more reach. That political opinion that changes one person's mind can be forwarded to somebody else who changes their mind and further and further and further to the point where um, individuals now have far more of a reason to get involved because they can actually see the impact of their participation uh, in real time. The ease of uploading and downloading video and comments online has changed candidates' behavior on the web. If I had to pick one thing that's emerging this year that's brand new, it's probably the social networking sites such as Facebook. Candidates are posting profiles of themselves but that's a minimal part of what's going on. What's more interesting is how supporters of candidates are organizing themselves into groups. And what we're going to find out as we get into this first round of voting in January is whether all of this networking and exchanging of information is going to translate into votes. Mrs. Clinton, how would you define the word liberal? And would you a debate aired on CNN and YouTube that featured questions from viewers online but TechPresident.com and the New York Times took it a step further, starting 10Questions.com, which is not moderated by journalists and lets the Internet community act directly with the candidates. We're watching the world unfold uh, in a technological way from, from uh, desktop computers and, and, and network computers to wireless networks that empower individuals to actually take responsibility for their own neighborhoods and participate in civic life in new ways. And so it's going to require a politician to recognize that this is an opportunity rather than a threat. And I think mobile technology will make them realize that faster than anything. From one nation's capital to another, Telecom Report revisits Tallinn, Estonia, a young republic that has zoomed ahead of the others in matters of e-governance and online voting. That's the next chapter of Telecom Report on Politics.